Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we're going to discuss Leprechaun 4 in space. This came out in 97. This is about an hour and a half, as they all are, as they all should be. I uh, need to correct myself. The first film takes place in North Dakota. Why I continuously referenced it as taking place in New Mexico, couldn't tell you. So first one's in North Dakota, second one's in Hollywood, second one, I'm sorry, third one is in Las Vegas, and then this fourth one is taking place in space. Now we've had Jason in space, Jason X, right? And so how does the Leprechaun work in space? It's not explained. We know it's in the future, well into the future. Trivia facts say it's 2096, but I don't see a reference of 2096 in the actual film um but hey we'll just say 2096 that's when this takes place in space the leprechaun warwick davis plays right it's the same character design same humor same costuming you know little changes here and there but it's just weird to watch a franchise where each film has no connection to the past because the rules keep changing, and the only connection is that there's a leprechaun doing stuff. That's it. There's a horror leprechaun doing stuff. That's it. That's the only connection. Because in this one, there's no, if you take his gold, you get wishes. You have to destroy the gold to destroy the leprechaun. None of that stuff, right? And he's not even technically dead at the end of the film. So it's just, it's just strange. It's, it's... The, he's not even called Leprechaun at all throughout this film. I don't remember them anybody saying the word Leprechaun at any given moment. Calling him alien, calling him other, you know, phrases. But I don't remember him, them saying the word Leprechaun, which is also interesting for a Leprechaun film. Now, special effects were so cheesy in regards to CGI. But the costuming, the makeup, the special effects in regards to the, you know... The cyborgs that they had created for this particular project, that spider-cyborg-human hybrid creation at the end, very... A lot of work went into that, so I appreciate the artistic sculpting aspect of this. So the the creature design is great in all of these films. The story just is... It's just strange. Like, there, the leprechaun, right, is now... He's traveled to a distant planet in a distant galaxy to forced the most beautiful creature in the universe an alien female to marry him uh, for his gold because her father the king gave away all of his treasures and he therefore is poor and stupid and she deserves wealth so she kind of agrees to it but then while they're gushing over all of his treasure all of his gold on this table um marines from earth which are space marines i guess are infiltrating to save the princess but destroy the creatures that are you know costing them billions of dollars and all these things right a good old american space film and so they fight the creature and they you know destroy the leprechaun but then like he's not destroyed and then one of the guys you know pees on his carcass as like a yeah mess with us and like leprechaun magic crept up the pee hole to cause an infection, which then spurred a new leprechaun to grow out and burst out of this man's crotch on the spaceship. And that's how he gets back to the spaceship. But it was wild. I did not expect any of that because I was just like, oh my goodness, this is this is a film. This was a greenlit film. And this isn't parody. This isn't satire. This is an actual film. Wild. So then the leprechaun is causing chaos on the ship saving the the princess and you know forcing not forcing but convincing her to marry him um and escape the ship together while the lead scientist is doing his crazy stuff and all the marines are doing their crazy stuff and then it's just fighting and the leprechaun explodes but he comes back again and the leprechaun explodes and he comes back again and then eventually they take this shrink ray for cargo and reverse it to enlarge and one of the female scientists on board shoots it at the leprechaun and he becomes all big and then eventually they trick him into a cargo bay and open the doors and he floats out to space where he explodes but he could still move his body parts because he flips them off on the way you know past the window so like he's not dead so what's the point of this movie what's the point of the movie we now have a leprechaun floating in space a gigantic leprechaun floating in space and his gold's technically not with him, I guess, if it's still technically on the ship. So, like, what's that? 
storyline continuing on if he didn't explode the ship. So, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just weird watching a franchise where the, the main character is not the same character from one project to the next, from one story to the next. It's not the same Leprechaun. So this is our fourth Leprechaun film with four different Leprechauns, with four different rules on what to do with Leprechauns. And I don't know what to expect moving now into Leprechaun in the Hood with then its sequel, the sixth film, Leprechaun Back to the Hood. And then we have Leprechaun Origins and Leprechaun Returns. We have four left. We're halfway through, but like, it's a weird horror franchise. I, I appreciate the first three films for that 90s aesthetic, watching real people do real things. I really enjoyed the aesthetic of it. Creature design is great. The art aspect of it is great. It's just the story makes no sense. And I had a feeling. Remember the first thing I said? One of the first things I said in the, in the first review was, I don't know how they're going to change the lore, but I knew that it was going to change. And I was right. But I didn't expect every single film to have no connection to the to the other film. I'm, I'm concerned <laughs> about these in the hood leprechaun films. Are they going to be straight satire? about urban lifestyle thrown in the fact that there's a leprechaun now running amok but we were just we just we're in los angeles we were in hollywood for the second film so what city is this next two in the hood and back to the hood going to be about i guess we got to play them and find out on to the next review Mahalo.